Welcome to today's daily challenge on May 25th. So for this, currently we got Soul Guard the Martyr, plus uh, Echo Break from Wormkin, our Mutators, Bind Power, Wand of Cure Light Wounds, and Sacrificial. Sacrificial takes a little bit of playing around. Um, these are probably, in my opinion, the worst two clans to do that. Hellhorn has Imps, uh, Melting Remnant has Tombs and Dregs, and um, our remaining clan, Penumbra, they have Morsels, so they all have easy to play units that take Sacrificial, that often you want dying anyways. Wand works well with especially the uh, Frostbite version of Soulguard. And buying power has several uses in daily challenges. Uh, besides making a deck more consistent, you can dupe your strongest cards. Uh, you can also use it to raise your shards a bunch. So if you have sharded, upgraded cards from uh, Divine Temples, uh, you can dupe and purge them just to get a lot of shards if you have a lot of excess money. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are against Seraph the Diligent, my least favorite. We got Shield, Fell, and one damage, Daedalus. Okay, Offering Totem's good to start with. Consume cards, Guardian Monument, that's fine. So, Consume and Bog Slime, that is not bad. I mean, we do start with two Consume cards to start. It's also useful against Seraph, but I'm going to take Infuse Mallet. It can get rid of Damage Shield and clear back lines, which are helpful. All right, so one thing to note, and this is possibly a bug, is the interaction of Titan Channel with Sacrificial. If you play Titan Channel as your first unit, since it has phased, it won't get Sacrificial, it won't get the Fragile. However, if you play another unit after you play your Titan Channel because of that, that second unit does get the Fragile, and that's where the bug is. Comparatively, if you do this in Covenant 10, where you get Ember Drain on the top floor, if you play uh, Titan Channel on the top floor first, it doesn't get the Ember Drain, but if you play a second unit, there's still no Ember Drain. So the two situations are different. I'm going to take Cold Channel and just hope to get a unit to drop down before him. Huh. Alright, so I do get a Train Steward. Which is nice. And let's just I'm just trying to make sure I kill this guy. Now I can play spells on the bottom floor. All right, nice kill. Might as well get a little bit more damage. There we go. So I don't have any big damage spells yet, which is unfortunate. Um, I do have discard outlets. I'm going to take the Titan's Gratitude just because it takes damage upgrades very well. 
So does Proclamation. So I'm going to take both of those. And then... Hmm. The Eel Gorgon's probably what is wanted. Alright. Stygian Banner, that's great. Rage Siren. Awesome. Notice I can't put this on him. We just want to give him some stats. So we'll give it plus five. Ten. And ooh, nice, a large stone. There we go. It'll gain the rage for the turn and then lose it, but that's still kind of useful. All right, minus two. We'll take the Guardian Amulet in case I can't get the discard. Plus 10 in piercing. We're going to start upgrading this proclamation. All right, only two units that I have to kill here. Oh, the spikes, that's disappointing. Hmm. How do I want to do this with three amber? I think I have to sacrifice the soul guard. have to clear out this lane somehow. Now I just need to get some multi-strike spells, or a couple of spells. And there we go. take the uh, a good backline clear spell and then we'll skip these all right I still want Stygian units I think these are not Stygian units I was hoping for let's look at our map there are one two these are the last two there's only two more temples so I don't need more units Spell chain. I do enjoy spell chain on offering token. Plus ten in piercing. Put that in the gratitude. This could help me survive a lot, but I still need some better damage somewhere. <laughs> We'll make that card free for a good backline clear. All right, we're gonna hold this remove consume. See what concealed caverns gives us. Build a card, nice. Damage heal or buff. 
give it the buff effect. I was really hoping for a decent, that's fine. We'll give it push and money. And I'm actually going to uh, dupe this because it's going to give me a lot of gold if I do that. I do want to keep a couple extra units in my deck just as sacrificial fodder. Soul guards just getting sacked constantly, which is unfortunate. Just want to minimize a lot of damage. We are getting healed every turn, which is great. I should just pop him. And there we go, flying kill. Don't need any of those. Spell weakness isn't bad. What's our next unit up? We do get one more Wormkin banner. Take the sweeper. And we're going to go for the artifact. There's just some so many good artifacts. Echo Seedling's nice, um, honestly. Especially against Seraph the Diligent. I mean, this prevents higher damage, but I think I'm fine there anyways. 30 magic power. Oh, well. Let's put this on our proclamation. That's just going to be our big damage spell. Let's put intrinsic on you. That way when I dupe you for more money, I'm also increasing my score by getting more shards. So we want to keep those train stewards. I'm not a fan of too many foreground powers. I have one discard effect already, and I go small decks. So I typically only keep one at a time. The random discard that is. Obviously, offering tokens are targeted, so they're much better. But this way, I still have a card I can play by itself at the end. Because that is our last divine temple. All right, 
same issue I keep running into. That's fine. Get a bunch of early damage there. We'll just put him in the back just for the uh, the extra damage. Oh, that's a shame. So now it's just, uh, well, I can blast that one. And then he'll gain some more health. I want to make sure I draw that next turn, so I'm not going to uh, play my offering tokens. That was not what I wanted to discard, but it's still fine. Because I still am able to kill it. This isn't a bad thing to me to start with. It means my proclamation can trigger right away. And then I don't need any of these. All right, so choices here. Um, Soul Crushing Guild Strong, just because it gives days and pushes things back. That can help me survive against Last Divinity. Broken Memories is also very strong, especially against Seraph the Diligent. We'll take the Broken Memories. really don't need unit you know, upgrades. So I'm going to go this way, especially with Concealed Caverns. All right, there's Holdover. Let's check here. Oh, man. That's actually kind of tough. Uh, double Encant, duh, is just going to be insane with the Eel Gorgon. Uh, first Hell Pack is pretty decent, um, but it's unlikely that it's going to get used from this. Yeah. All right, what do I want purged from my deck? Let's get rid of the weak train steward. Let's hold over. Shame that doesn't get an armor. that pulled over make some spells free and we'll double stack that Get rid of the infused power and the train steward. I am banking pretty hard on getting things I need. 
Um, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Dupe that gets me over cold. My only slight disappointment is I didn't put the uh, the spell chain on an old magic. Though I guess three ember would have been a lot. All right, this is exactly what I need. Shame that I lose my soul guard there. This is fine. All right, nice easy bottom floor kill. Chest plate's not bad. Once again, I am out of big damage uh, upgrades that I could possibly get. I'm just gonna probably keep duping that proclamation if anything. This one's not bad because uh, it's a nice sweep. And sweeper spells, let's check our map still. So I'll go this side because I want the concealed cavern since I already got the double triggers. Then I'll probably do concealed caverns over here. And then probably the merchant of steel. Um, for this, let's see. Hmm. Which means I Actually, I'm not going any more spell upgrades. Uh, so Crushing Guilt would probably be fine, but Ancient Resonance, no, even though it's the sweep spell. All right. Ten and heartless. I don't want that since my units are already heal. We'll get the a large stone and we'll put that on my Gorgon. Just make him more tanky. And then we can dupe something. So now I have a good gold engine that can kill things. I don't really need that. I'm gonna dupe this for 15, just another kill spell.
if I can't get the kill here. So I got the kill. Uh, one thing that I didn't point out. So sacrificial is fragile is a uh, something that our eel gorgon. If you remember, its text removes all status effects. So this will remove fragile from itself. Ooh, deep offering. Okay, deep offering is just too good to pass up. Um, this does not really change what I do here. I'm still going to go with the Concealed Caverns. I'm going to take that Kinstone Totem. I'm not taking any of those. Um, I typically avoid that event in the Daily Challenge. It just doesn't really add anything. I don't actually want to use my offering token here. Because I want to make sure I can play my Gorgon next turn. Ooh. No, I can still delete that guy. That's fine. That could have been really bad otherwise. But now he survives. Getting a lot of shards going. Now I can deep offering. gonna actually do this because he's gonna remove the frostbite anyways. There we go, now we got two charges, which is great. 
Yeah. And I'm just going to uh, get as much money as I can. And then the turn. Don't need any of those. Don't need any of these. Actually, I could have taken that. Um, that might have been not bad. Because now I do want to go this side for the Merchant of Magic. Let's see if I can't get a remove consume. I'm going to make you one cheaper. Nope. Okay. Unfortunate, but it's manageable. Um, what I'm going to do... So we're going to actually make this cost zero. We're going to start purging some things. We're going to get rid of this hosting kin. Yeah, both the hosting kins can leave. All right, and next we're going to, let's see, what gives me the most? So that gives me 10, these guys give me 15. These give me 15. So I'm gonna dupe him. Remove it. And then we're gonna dupe one again. That's gonna give me up to 260 shards. All right. All right, let's see when we can get this kill. Does enter with stealth, which is very unfortunate. I'm gonna put a quick high up here, just to catch any units to get through. And we're gonna make deep offering the first consumer spell. We're just gonna start stacking damage there. Get a deep off back. That's why I should have drafted the second one. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm actually going to save this one with Purge, because uh, it gives me Consume Fodder. And Consume Fodder is going to be very nice. That does kill both of those. Stack more damage. There we go. Try to get as early of a flying kill as possible. Now these guys are in the way. Hmm. Well, let's. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this offering token. That works. What's the last two cards in deck? All right, we're on our way to a very early flying kill, hopefully.
All right. Probably at worst can get the kill in two rounds. Let's see what I grab. Ooh, okay. Maybe this turn. Yep. Alright, there's the kill. So let's just focus on getting some more gold. Great. And there we go, a six turn flying kill, thanks to all the frostbite and the many, many deep offerings. Uh, I've racked up a lot of shards from that in the double encant, plus gain all the energy so I can just keep passing, casting them and then the big damage spells bring down the health even more. Sure, we'll take the armor. Why not? I should be able to get a pretty early kill anyways. Um, so that's not a concern of them getting to me. I'm either thinking, let's guess turn, the first or second turn. Okay. Let's just play you here. I'm putting this on the double strike floor. Um, because the double strike floor means it gets more frostbite triggers. And I'm going to save this one once again, just gives me more draw effects, so I'm more likely to hit my deep offerings for this first turn kill. Getting closer. Card, Titan's Gratitude. I actually should probably check do I have more deep offerings in here? I do have one more, okay. But well, I still get the kill. With only, you know, 57 attacks for 200 damage. All right. And there we go, the first turn kill. So this should be at least 80,000 as far as points go. Didn't quite get 40 on the last two, but I did get a lot of points in these last two battles. Uh, the stealth preventing me from getting a little bit more points. Yeah, 84, 950. Almost 85. And that puts me in a solid first. So yeah, let's uh, just once again look at this summary and what I did. So for this we have Eul Gorgon, uh, which I completely forgot initially but then remembered is that if you play it first it will take the Fragile from Sacrificial. However, as long as it survives till end of turn, that Fragile gets removed, which makes it a lot stronger. Um, I did take an Icy Silophite just to have another unit and then I went Frostbite Soul Guard, which worked very well. Uh, across, aside from those, um, early on I got gold version of old magic and duplicated it. 
just to get money. Um, you see I ended up 450 money, but I also, if you watch the video throughout, duped a lot of cards um, and removed some. That's why I have so many deep offerings. I have four of them. Uh, that way I can cycle through my deck really quickly, especially since if I play this as my first consume spell, I get two more. So that puts it up to six times I can use deep offering. Plus if I use my broken memories, that gives me seven times of using it. So I cycle through my deck, play a lot of spells. It gives me a lot of frostbite damage as well as a lot of multi-strike for big attack. And that allowed me to kill things very quickly. Seraph the Diligent came with stealth, so that hurt my score a little bit, but I got boss rushes before Relentless on the other two flying bosses and Last Divinity. Uh, once again, if you find powers really nice, uh, because you can either dupe key cards to help your strategy, like Deep Offering, or you can dupe cards like your units, or something like this Proclamation that has a lot of Divine Temple upgrades to get more shards and get more points. All right. Thank you for watching. You are welcome to like and subscribe. Check out any of my other videos or other great content creators of Monster Train.